Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video. And today's video is a little different from the other videos I've had before. Uh, well, I got some fan mail, my first fan mail. And this person is actually like a really good friend of mine, also, uh, that, that met me on YouTube. And her name is Mariah Myers, also. Um, <laughs> she's a. Uh, I think her name on, like she has a YouTube channel called, I don't know, because it used to be called Human 101, or, I don't know, but let me find my knife. Available, and I thought there was gonna be one available this Friday coming up, and they still don't have a P.O. box available, which is pretty crazy because most places have a P.O. box open. And they, well, technically they do have some available, but they're the more expensive ones. And I'm not trying to pay a hundred dollars for a whole year, I'm trying to get the $38 one or whatever that's not the point. Once they become available, I will open a full on appeal box. I just don't know yet. I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, this address I gave to her, <laughs> no one can know about it because I gave them my cousin's address and no, like nothing can be sent there. But I got sent there and he got in trouble. So that's a thing. Um, so yeah, feel good about this. Uh, I've never opened like mail that someone sent to me from YouTube. This is this is weird to me. Like it's crazy that people met me on the internet and sent me something like that is insane. I want to see this. Oh, she sent me PTS. That's so dope. And she drew me in my little iconic Madrid shirt because you know I'm a Madrid fan. And oh my gosh, she she drew me. That's so awesome. I gotta show you guys this. Can you guys see it? Um, if you guys can see it. This is so awesome. She drew me. I've seen so many like fan art and you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pay homage to a couple of other people who have drew some really awesome pictures of me. I've seen some pretty dope stuff from my community, which is cool. Come on, this is Pentatonix. This is Pentatonix. Once I uh, like get everything situated, I'm definitely gonna, like if you guys send me art, or any art you guys have made online and you send it to me, I'm gonna print it off and put it on the wall to, uh, so you guys know. But uh, this is awesome. I'm definitely gonna put this on my wall at one point and I'm just gonna keep it for safekeeping. Hey Arlie, I'm pretty bad with letters, so I guess I'll just start with how I found you. I remember that I clicked on one of your videos because it was recommended. I remember laughing at your reaction because it was so over the top, no offense. <laughs> I do make some over the top contents. I saw how often you uploaded, so I subscribed. I never even thought we would become friends, but I'm glad we did. You always helped me smile and feel better about myself, so thank you. I wanted to also say congratulations on everything that you've earned. I hope there's so much more to come. One of my biggest fears is losing contact with you. So I was wondering if we could be text buddies. And yes, yes, we can be text buddies. If you couldn't do you, oh, she asked me, what anime genre is your favorite? I don't necessarily have a genre favorite, but I can name a few of my favorite animes. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, I don't know if you guys know who he is, but Edward Elric. Of all these different characters, uh, Naruto is some of my favorite. Uh, what, what, who else do I like? It's so many. Uh, I like Yuri on Ice. I found them on the internet, which is funny. I was just on the internet scrolling through like videos, and I found Yuri on Ice, and I just started watching episodes, and then I started making reaction videos to like Yuri on Ice crap and stuff like that, and you guys really love that. Which hint hint, there is a Yuri on Ice crap compilation coming soon so watch out for that if you couldn't do youtube what would you do if i couldn't do youtube i would literally just like I, i'd probably just still be in college to be honest uh because i was in college at one point but i stopped doing it because i really love videos i didn't go back and i was like i'm gonna do this youtube thing and see where it takes me and cool sure enough i'm starting to gain an audience so i'm just gonna keep going and doing it and it's not even about the money part, I just like doing it. So, you know, me doing this hustle, you know, like I'm working like two jobs and stuff like that. And on top of doing this, which gives me money too, but like I said, it's not for the money. 
uh, doing it helps too. I was like, I have big ambitions in the online video space. So that alone, you know, doing that grind on top of that now. There have been times where I'm like, I do upload a lot sometimes, but sometimes I like literally take a five day break, which is not cool, but uh, I try to keep up with my schedule. Do you consider yourself a pinaholic? pinaholic? I, uh, in the beginning of my channel, because I'm not gonna lie, I reacted to a ton of PTX because I just discovered them and I loved PTX. But now I feel like I've kind of drifted away, especially with Abby leaving pen Pentatonics and it just made me kind of like, dang, he's leaving and now everyone's going solo. They're making their own solo music, which Superfoot was already making their own solo music. It was super good. But now I see them kind of, it seems like they may be driven apart in the next couple of years. Which that's what happens with every group. Um, but yeah. Uh, what's the nicest thing a subscriber has ever said to you? Um, a subscriber said, I remember this comment. Let me go through my video comments and see if I have one of them. Because if it was a comment that really um, showed me that people were like really, you know, they're not. Um, there was one comment that said, I think they said, uh, you have some of the best videos. I can't believe you're not at 25 million subscribers. And I was like, 25 million, that's crazy. I mean, that's PewDiePie numbers, but yeah, PewDiePie is a big, uh, oh yeah, you said, do you have any celebrities you'd like to meet? Uh, I guess you could consider PewDiePie a celebrity. I would like to meet PewDiePie. Um, I would like to, who else would I like to meet? I don't know, Casey Neistat, I like Casey Neistat. Uh, who else? Uh, that's hard. I don't know who else I would like to meet. I don't really, I don't know to be honest. Those are the people I like look up to the most. More so YouTubers is who I'd like to meet over like actual traditional celebrities like people on TV and stuff. I don't really care for that stuff. I do want to be on TV and movies and stuff, but I don't care for, if you know what I mean, I don't care necessarily to meet like the big celebrities. Like, uh, I was, well, no, I take that back. There is one celebrity I would like to meet, uh, Justin Bieber. I would like to meet him. Um, but I guess you can consider him a YouTuber too, because that's how he started on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, there's not really many celebrities I'd like to meet. Uh, but would you consider coming to an anime co convention? Yes, I would. I would actually come to it. Uh, could you give me a separate little paper with your autograph? I'm a fan, by the way. Yes, I would definitely give you an autograph for sure. And uh, yes, for sure. Uh, this is this is crazy because I'm still <laughs> I'm still at a loss for words that I've I've reached the community because I, I like anime, I like all this stuff, but I never thought I could reach that community because all this stuff I was kind of doing on YouTube. I, I didn't. I just didn't think it would reach that community. Reach people as much because I got 4 million views and I got like 17,000 subscribers and thank you Jennifer for just congratulating me on uh, 17k uh, yeah we just hit over 17k so I don't know what that means but that, this is crazy that uh, I've, I found a community and people like this stuff and someone took the time to send me something and I know there's more of you but like I said until the PO box is open I can't accept any more letters at this moment. But uh, this, thank you so much. And yes, I did see your number in it, Mariah. I'm definitely gonna put your number in my phone and I will be in touch. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Mail Time. And um, yeah, just look forward to it. I'm definitely gonna put it in my, uh, my YouTube like a playlist. So every time I get mail, which I'm not gonna say these episodes are very, 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 very often, but when I have a chance, yes, there will be more mail type episodes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, what else am I to end the video? Fidget spinners. Let me show you guys something. I mean, it just spins for days. Just. It just spins for days.